Welcome to 1600 Northeast Barnes Road. This home sits on 4.94 acres with three acres of Ochico irrigation. It was built in 1956 and is still occupied by the original owner. It has been updated. Most of the windows are vinyl. It does have a metal roof, vinyl siding, quite a few outbuildings. That outbuilding has the washer and dryer and a bunch of extra storage, some cold storage, kind of a area that's a pantry. This is all controlled by a sprinkler system. There's more storage sheds over here to the side. The one straight ahead is the well house with a pressure tank. There is a newer well as well. The whole yard area is fully fenced and has gates. There's a barn down below and a shop. The home also has a carport attached. We'll see that as we wrap around the side of the house. The pasture's all past the cyclone fence you see right ahead. It's all irrigated with those three acres of Ochoco irrigation. Some really nice fruit trees, an apricot that the owner planted herself from seed years ago. Some nice rhubarb plants as well. There's the gate that leads out to the pasture. And some more nice trees. Standing inside the front door, looking into the kitchen. This has been remodeled uh, about 2000. The owner could not remember exactly when that was, but these cabinets are newer, as is the flooring. Wood fireplace, wood stove. Actually, that uh, has been converted to propane. All the heat in the house is propane. Nice big picture windows. Wood fireplace. Freestanding propane furnace. Down the hallway, there's a little buffet right here that's built in, and that leads out to the sunroom, guest bathroom, does have tile that's newer, built-ins there, guest bedroom, that is a king-size bed, fits pretty comfortably, it's a big guest bedroom. The second guest bedroom, the smaller of the two, but does have some nice built-ins as well, and a closet. And the master bedroom. It's a little smaller does have a little closet right here. And it does have its own bathroom. at the living room. It does have another door there. <clears throat> and the sunroom here that they use as a dining area could flex and be used as many different many different ways. And then this room here has been used for storage recently but it did have a hot tub in it and it has exterior venting down and up 
with a door to the outside so it does make an ideal hot tub location but can be used for quite a few different way in quite a few different ways so you can see the gas log in there again that was converted to a propane fireplace so that is the inside it's all in pretty good shape just needs your personal touches and renovations to bring it up to current standard if that is what you standing prefer. here on the side of the house you can see that carport that's attached to the home that leads into the side there in that little sunroom there's the propane tank that's owned and comes with the home and then there's wood storage a covered area here this building to the right is the washroom with washer and dryer inside Nice little wood storage area or a spot to park an RV. And then your view across those beautiful, beautiful inside pastures. of the workshop here. It does have 220 power. It's wired throughout. It's an excellent building. If it was insulated, you could really keep the heat in, but it does have a wood stove already. And the owner says that with this space, a good fire running in there. There's really no need for insulation. There's a little storage mezzanine above. There's also a ceiling fan in here to help with the circulation. Just a handy shop with a good concrete slab and two doors for access.